So you've bought your Renix, you've started to build up a collection, but the question always presents itself. How do I store this stuff? So Thompson's Coins finally has a selection of accessories. It's taken me quite some time, but I've finally gotten myself organized and I now have an array of capsules, two by twos, also known as mylars, as well as a couple of different sized albums, which will be suitable for coin and banknote storage up on the website. It's incredibly important to store your collection appropriately because with improper storage, unfortunately I've seen it time and time again, people have their prized collection, they put it in a place they shouldn't, for example, somewhere in direct sunlight or in uh, PVC plastic, uh, which you'll, you can identify PVC um, based plastics over time. They become quite brittle and quite stiff. Um, brittle probably isn't the word. They're quite, they're quite stiff and when you bend the pages, sometimes they can actually crack. You'll also see um, it's sort of like a hazy type appearance and over time that will leak out onto your coins or banknotes and unfortunately once that happens the collectible value drops significantly. Understandably people don't want coins with um, you know green slime type um, material on them. Alright let's take a look at some of the accessories and I'll give a demonstration uh, as to some of the suitable sizes and also how to use the self-adhesive 2x2s. Funnily enough, that's something that I had a little bit of trouble with early on in my career. First up, we have 25 millimeters, which is perfect for an Australian $1 coin. Hear that? Of course you don't. <laughs> no movement at all. That's what you want with your capsules. You want as little movement as possible, um, just to keep them intact. Um, generally, you know, unless you're traveling around with your collection, there shouldn't be much movement regardless but it's always a good idea to have as snug of a fit as possible. Now I won't go through every single size, but one that is very popular with collectors is the 41 millimeter capsule, which is ideal for a one ounce silver coin. Now you will get a little bit of movement, which unfortunately you will get uh, slight fluctuations in sizing. So with various one ounce silver coins, you will get some slightly different diameters, um, but that is as good as I could get for a um, Royal Mint Britannia. This is also the milk spotted slash fingerprinted coin from the uh, auction video that I've also put up. So yeah, did come in handy in the end. I just thought I'd check with another coin and I've checked with a US Eagle and the 41 millimeter is quite suitable for that. There is a tiny bit of movement, but that is quite a nice fit. So ideal for the uh, US Eagle stackers in the in the channel. That there is the Florin in a 29 millimeter capsule. There is a teeny bit of movement, but that's that's a great fit. I would be very happy storing a Florin in one of these capsules. Here we have a sixpence. This is in a 20 millimeter capsule. 24 millimeter for the shilling. A very nice fit indeed. Not much movement at all in there. Okay, the moment you, you've probably all been waiting for. The $2 coin. So what I'll demonstrate here is a two by two, also occasionally referred to as a mylar. So this is ideal for long-term storage. It has obviously PVC free plastic, much like the capsules. Uh, but some people prefer to store coins in this format because you can also write um, you can write an explanation as to what what coin you're dealing with on the outer. So the way it works is you remove this portion here. Uh, so it's it's a lot like a sticker. You get rid of that. Present your coin. Actually, I need to do it the right way. So get the orientation of your coin right. So we want the obverse facing away from us. There we go. Fold it over. Press nice and firmly. And there you go. Look at this, I might even... You can write on it. Two dollars. 
Hope your handwriting is a little neater than that. But that is an example of a 2x2, two two, also known as a Mylar. This is the self-adhesive variety. You can also get non-self-adhesive types, which you staple together. I prefer this type because I don't like the idea of staple, uh, the staples potentially rubbing on the faces of any of my coins. I've also got sizing charts. So if you've got florins, shillings, sixpences, sovereigns, you name it, uh, just go into the each of the items on the website and you'll find the appropriate diameter either for the 2x2s or for the capsules. So all that information will be listed on the website as well. Last but not least, I almost forgot, I also have these really cool floating frames. So the way these work is you take the frame, open it up, put your coin in a capsule first. Uh, that will ensure that it stays nice and snug. Pop it in the little stand. And there you have a beautiful display for a desk. You know, put that in your home office or in your, you know, your general work office. And it makes for a great way to display your coins. So yeah, something a little different and I'm a big fan of these ones. So there you have it, a selection of the accessories finally available on thompsonscoins.com. You can check the link in the description and take a look at the accessories. Uh, I hope this served as a useful bit of information showing you some of the appropriate sizes and things like that. Uh, if there's anything you'd like to learn a little more about, feel free to get in touch. Uh, you can email me at matt at thompsonscoins.com. I hope you enjoyed this video on accessories and uh, they're incredibly important to store your things appropriately for the long term. Um, there's nothing worse than having a lovely coin or banknote and having it destroyed or damaged by improper storage. So take care and thanks a lot for watching.